Welcome to the screencast for section 5.1 of Active Calculus. I want to talk a bit about the functions defined by integrals part of this section because this is an unfamiliar idea for uh, most students. What I've got shown in the graph here is I have a graph of a function f of t shown in black here. Um, and the blue function is defined this way. It's the function a of x equals the definite integral from 0 to x of f of t dt. And so here we want to make sure we understand that the variable in this function, the independent variable, is x. And t is functioning simply as the dummy variable uh, in our definite integral to focus on the width of the rectangles that we would use in the Riemann sum for this. Uh, so normally we've thought about definite integrals from, from a number to another number. Well here we, x is in the end a number that's substituted in to calculate this. Um, so let's take a look here and see how this all works out. So if we start with x equals 0, then we're doing a of 0 is the definite integral from 0 to 0 of f of t dt. Well, that's zero by one of our properties of definite integrals, and okay, the graph of A is at the point zero, zero. Now, as we slide along and we increase the value of x, notice that the brown piece here is the area under the curve from t equals zero to t equals x, in this case, t equals 0 0.3, and GeoGebra has told us that this area is 0 0.45, and the graph of uh, a of x has the point 0 0.3, 0 0.45 on it. As we keep sliding along, we notice that as long as we're getting a positive contribution to the net signed area, where f lies above the x-axis, we're adding, we're increasing the area, we're increasing the value of a of x. So a of x is an increasing function there. Now notice what happens here, where a of x, uh, where f of x, or f of t, hits the uh, x-axis, or the t-axis. Now all of a sudden, we're getting negative contributions to the net signed area. And so the value of this integral function, as we let our x get bigger than uh, about 2.1, where we're looking at right here, a is going a of x is going to have to start decreasing because we're subtracting off this piece below the axis here and so we notice that the graph of the a function starts declining or decreasing and this continues until we get over to the point where f becomes positive again right here where we change signs on f and then we start making positive contributions to the area and the function a of x increases again. Let's see if we can uh, identify some properties that tie into concavity as well. So let's rewind back to the beginning here. Let's put a little bit of area under there. So we notice that on this interval here, till we get to the first crossing here, we said that uh, the area a needs to be increasing because we keep adding more area, the brown region keeps getting larger, but the rate at which the brown area is increasing is decreasing. So since we're seeing that um, the area increasing means A is increasing, but we're seeing that that area, the rate at which the area increases is a decreasing rate, we see that a is increasing, we're adding area, but for every little bit we move over, we're adding shorter and shorter rectangles, effectively, in our Riemann sum. So we expect it increasing at a decreasing rate behavior in A, which says that we should be concave down. And if we look at the graph of A, we do see that it's concave down here. And now we are decreasing at an increasing rate, because the rectangles down here, as we keep swooping along, um, are getting larger. But now, right around here, right around pi, and I can't hit pi quite right on, um, notice what happens. The area is still decreasing, 
but it's decreasing at a rate that's getting closer to zero. So we're decreasing at an increasing rate. So that's tied to being concave up. And notice the graph of A changes concavity here. As we keep moving along, now we change from decreasing to increasing because we've gotten past the negative contribution to our net signed area and now we're into our positive contribution to the net signed area again. So the A function is increasing and what's happening with that rate? We're getting larger and larger rectangles added for every step we take and so we see increasing behavior at an increasing rate which is tied to being concave up again and so we see we can get really all the pieces that we are looking for uh, about the shape of this the blue graph just from looking at the black graph and knowing that the function a of x is defined as the area underneath that curve uh, from zero to whatever number x we're looking at right we see this just tracking right along the area uh, up to here is 1.23 and up, up to x equals 4.1 the area is 1.23 and the a graph is at 1.23 Thanks for watching.